Very good. Okay. Here we go. And we're going to walk in. This is fine. Ow. Okay. Ow. Okay, you know what? Okay. Hey guys, it's me. Uh, DJ Kitty Aoli. I guess that's what I'm gonna be today. Um, so, uh, I took a, took a little detour here, uh, got off at the uh, Picacho Peak Road exit on my, my uh, way up to Phoenix, um, as you can see, uh, and uh, tonight's a big show at Arco Santi. I haven't been to Arco Santi in, in a while. I'm very excited. It's the uh, Secret Session boys from Sedona. They do incredible things in Flagstaff, Sedona, Phoenix area. And so when I heard about it, I, it, since I was in the area, I had, I have to go. And I was like, Hey, I'll bring my camera. You just like, please let me come and hang out. And it, it's going to be a great excuse to sleep in the element for the first time. Um, I have this, uh, I have two pads here. Um, and, uh, from the Quaker house in Tucson. Thank you for the uh, donation. I'm going to borrow it, basically. I'm going to give it back to them, just so you know. And, uh, I mean, nothing else is in the car. It's, it's, a, it's you know, it's a two-day excursion. And so, uh, you know, I'm just really excited to just be out in on the table mesa in the desert um, and to be to look up at the, wi the window thing and just be able to l lay down and look up at the stars. There's no light pollution in Arcosanti. You'll see when we get up there. Um, I'm really excited, so I'll, I'll take you up there. I'll, you know, I'm, I'm going to be shooting some show footage, so you'll see some of that. As, and uh, Arco Santi is such a beautiful... I'm not going to show you Arco Santi. It's, there's so many videos about Arco Santi. Just Google it. Um, but for now, uh, we'll see how it goes. So let's do it. Ooh. Arco Santi, it's, uh, it's very windy. I'm gonna hold it like this, see if that helps. Um, so, I've been here many times. I actually spent a full month here, maybe a little more, uh, a few years ago when I was doing like um, work for uh, Convergence, a festival that is here. Um, I was doing all the video for that. Um, I'll link the video. It's on YouTube, so I'll link the video, the recap that I did. That was fun. It's really cool, um, and it definitely pairs with this uh, this space and this community. So um, I'm here. I've entered, and I, I haven't gone over the grate yet because Arcosani's road is not paved. Um, they've been talking about for like 20 years, maybe more, uh, whether to pave this road or not, and they have not. Um, now, whether people who live here or visit often, everyone has their own um, definition of how to approach this dirt road that is very rarely maintained. Um, some people just keep as much air in the tires as they have normally. Some people take it out. Um, some people go 40 to 50. They're like, well, if I go faster, I'll just go over the bumps. Um, some people go as, as slow as possible as to not break anything on older cars. A lot of older cars come through Arcosanti. Um, so, but this is just, this is the beginning of the journey. It's so close. It's like right there. Um, but it's going to take me like a good, uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Cause I'm going to go slow, uh, with the old element, this poor little baby emu. Um, but, uh, once we get there and we get there safely, um, then the fun can begin.
lied, at 10 miles an hour, it took me five minutes to get down that road, but it was still scary. Um, I don't want to lie about that. Um, I respect Argo Santi <laughs> and um, Costco cookie. Um, it, it's super windy and there's a storm potentially coming through. So we're hoping that rain doesn't drop at seven, which it says it will. Um, but uh, it's all set up and your boy, it's good to see some people again and we'll see what happens. But uh, do the rain dance so it doesn't rain. Is there a dance for that? Or is it, do you do a dance so it does rain? Which one is that? <laughs> Uh, it's like during convergence, but we got them running up in 2020. You done with IUCs? I'm done with IUCs. I haven't <laughs> What would you do if, if that gal was like, it's my bedtime, you have to be quiet by 10 p.m.? Probably what buy her a room somewhere special, maybe Not down the line. Airbnb? It's the way to go. Okay, so I'm having to finish the interview inside because um, the beauty of the desert. It rained last night, as expected, uh, only for an hour. Um, and uh, right now it is hailing outside um, at the end of March. So I'm <laughs> just going to hide inside. And uh, it was great to be here again. And I think the show went really well for them. It, the footage looked great. Um, until the rain came and it got really dark because they had to turn off all, a lot of the lights. But um, I love using the old, um, I bought this for a feature film, this set of lenses. This is one of them, um, the Pentax uh, Acai Tacumar lenses, um, still lenses. And the 50 millimeter 1.4 is the one I used basically for the show last night because it was so dark. Um, and then uh, I, I think I used the 100 millimeter like twice at the, for the moon shot and for the sunset stuff um, before the show started. So um, I love these lenses so much. It, it was cool to shoot the show. I mean, it's always great to be here. The Secret Session guys are hilarious and they're so much fun and they run an incredible show. Uh, it just stacks of speakers and baseball. <laughs> so um, it was lovely and uh, I'm just waiting for people to move. Um, so I can leave the car camping, but as, yeah, as you saw yesterday, I'm, 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 I'm on the cliff, uh, right on the edge here, looking over this beautiful, like, farmland in the bottom of Arco Santi. It's so nice, and the element was great. I, I will say that the two things, the, you know, the, the mini mattress and the foam pad I set up was incredible. Um, very comfortable. Obviously, I was a bit tired from shooting for hours and hours, but either way, I, you know, I, I was able to go to bed very comfortably. It was a bit cold because it's 
hailing, right? It's freezing up here right now. Um, but uh, yeah, it was really nice. And I, I, I hung something, um, you know, like a, a, like a, a big blanket on, over the windshield. And then I had coats hanging from the two seats on either side, which I think kind of insulated me a little bit. Um, and then I had, you know, sheets and a down uh, comforter. Um, and then just another like uh, kind of Mexican style blanket on top of that. So I was warm. And then of course the sun was out this morning. So it wasn't um, actually worked out really well, to be honest. I think it was actually way nicer than it would have been in, in the summer when you'd wake up kind of hot um, and sweaty. So I guess I don't mind. Um, I didn't, I, I wanted to be able to pop that top window but it was just too cold, so maybe another time. But yeah, just pushing those seats forward gave me more than enough leg room. I was, uh, I loved it. The element is great. It's funny because there's someone here that I know, he did the visuals for the show. I'm gonna credit him in, in, in the video. He did all of the kind of the projectionist stuff and he set up all the lighting. And um, I love how there's that translation between like show, you know, like show people and film people. He's using the Astera tubes. Um, which you see on every film set now. Um, and uh, anyways, so he uh, he has an element, but he made the mistake of getting the automatic. And so someone was telling me how uh, his element is just dead, just sitting here in the parking lot because he needs a new transmission. <laughs> it's like, yep, yep, I read about that. <laughs> so, um, But uh, yeah, there's three elements here right now that I've seen just uh, just from last night, so... The community is strong, and I'm glad that I was able to put this together, camp in the element for the first time. No problems on the way up. I'm assuming there'll be no problems on the way down. And after this road, I, I waited until driving on this road, the Arcosanti Road. I'm going to go finally get an alignment, get the tires balanced, get everything rotated, and get it neutral. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. So hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I have no idea when I'll make another one of these, so enjoy it while you can. I was gonna say, like, I remember Ben when he would be throwing stuff in Tucson. He was notorious for um, calling the police, letting them know he was going to have a party at Solar Culture and Galactic. 